Okay, this is video for three earphones I would recommend you do not purchase and I'm a little bit late for a couple of them and I'm involved with one of them so this isn't going to be a um, shading on other people, this is going to be shading on myself and maybe kind of other people. If you're interested in winning a Tiance Gym Origin, which is one of the sets mentioned in this video, go ahead and comment below, you got to be a subscriber. Um, give it a thumbs up if you generally like it and also the unboxing channel, that's how that goes. Um, the first set I'm going to bring up is one that hits close to home and I was involved with it and it's called the Tans, excuse me, the Thea Audio Hype 2. Let me go ahead and quiet that up a little bit. I, I'm going to say this publicly because I said it privately to the people. They should have sent all three of these since they're going to release them so close together to a couple people that they trust. Forget about me or whoever. Whoever they think they trust and is trusted by the community, give them all three of the sets and then let them suss it out so that people can make a, a smart decision instead of buying the most affordable one and a bunch of people saying it sounds really good myself included because i thought it did sound really good when the hype 4 came out it was clear that and then it the price wasn't clear either when the 2 came out of what the 4 was going to cost i didn't know it anyway it's literally a hundred dollars so you make the redundancy thing was in full effect with the a audio and the hype series they're all good sets in their price range if i was going to advise somebody like i did in a later video i'd say get the hype 4 because the 10 is a luxury that is hard to even really articulate if it exists but it does sound better than the two and a lot of people that bought the two felt bad as they should because that honeymoon period of being the one with the hype and everybody talking about it nicely was very very short-lived and if you want to defend the company which i don't know why you would ever do that and say well they're trying to attack different tiers at the same time okay name the price Put it all out there, send all three to a couple of people and let get a couple different versions of how it works out and which one's the best in their opinion. And give more information to everybody if you're going to throw a bunch of stuff into the pool at the same time. That was not a good way to do it. I had one, another guy had two of them, another guy has the top one. It just, it confused a bunch of people and it's not a good way to, so don't get the hype too. And don't accept that kind of marketing in the future. Something that's released a month later for a hundred dollars more, and everybody comes out and says it's better than what you bought. That's sh that's that's nice. That's a really nice feeling, isn't it? Um, big brain move right there by Lynn Sol and Thea. I, I don't know what they were doing. Let's get to the next one and undo this right here. This is the origin. It sounds good. I've got it. And again, if you want to, I'll put it up on my graph tool like the Hype 10 and I'll do a review for it. And I'm going to compare it with some sets that are in its price range. This is a set that is inferior to sets that were released recently and cost under $100. Forget the bias. Forget the library. It's better drivers, in my opinion. But I'll be very specific when I do the review. $250? And by the way... The stealth revision phenomenon, which is always brought up for KZ and other companies, legitimately so. Anytime a company silently changes any part of the driver inside of an earphone and you don't know about it except by accident, that's a problem. It doesn't matter if it costs you $60 or 280 to 300 like the Oxygen 2. They did three stealth revisions of that set. I'm sorry, the original plus two different versions of drivers in that. Or they touched it and did stuff to it and never updated the information on Shenzhen Audio. <clears throat> Absolutely unacceptable. And by the way, your set, the Origin, um, it doesn't hold a candle to a couple sets. It's a third its price. You can't charge that much because of your name. Uh, it's ridiculous. You have to have influences compare it to popular sets to even get attention for it. That's, that's how out of pocket you are right now. Pass it. Skip it. Don't invest $260 in a $75 set. Please, don't. They, they don't need your money. They're not struggling. Which leads me into the last one. Oh, that's the graph. This is the Supermoon. That's in yen right there. I believe this is about a $1,200 set. I am absolutely 100% sure, because I asked and because I know, that this driver inside this set comes from China. This is not a plain arm driver manufactured in Portland, Oregon. That means that I know approximately how much in large lot purchases this driver costs, and you know it too. I want to point up to my flag up there. I'm up very. I'm from Hawaii. Very proud of where I come from. 
It's Jerry Harvey Audio just went bankrupt. Did you know that? JH Audio, he went bankrupt, I think it's September, October. Um, it's very difficult to do business in America because the overhead is larger. You've got higher labor costs. You have the floor space is the the lease rent for the the property you don't even own the land you're talking about the the facility that's on the land that's expensive stuff that your chinese competitors don't have to do you have got to mark up items to get back and to even be competitive and jh audio was a good example of that don't tell me it's because of his tuning because jh audio was going for musicians and people who have musical ears and know how to tune a guitar or a piano liked his sets when they were set up for them he was a professional he was a musician he's gone empire ears is very close to being gone as well campfire audio if i'm to be trusted in my sources was very close two years ago to being considering protections that's what I was told, and I've never gotten bad information from that person because there's really no, they don't have to. They know them through sourcing of materials in China. Then the, it's part of the logistical supply chain. Um, and it would make sense because doing business where they're doing business is very hard. And doing business against who they do business against is very hard because their overhead is not the same. Their cost for floor time in a factory that they don't own, I'm talking about Chinese companies, is not the same as what Campfire Audio has to do. So don't buy this set because it's a driver that you could get for substantially less. And let's look at the graph now just because. That looks a lot like a lot of sets that you've seen before, yeah? So if somebody says that the Supermoon is, that's the universal, go ahead and look at the, the regular one. Somebody says that this is the best planar out there and you, you should get... I, I think that they're um, be specific. Open it up and take. let's take a look at the driver. And then you explain how um, that actually works. Help the community understand why they need to pay a markup of, I don't know, how many percent that is. Uh, hundreds of percents. That's a substantial amount of money to ask people to pay more for where they're using the same engine, which is a transducer, as stuff that costs a tenth. One tenth the cost, you can get the same basic sonic replay. If you're doing it because you want to support a company that's in a tough position and working in a tough environment, um, I, for just a second here, um, we're, we're blocking aid to a country that we were providing aid to because we are trying to tag a border issue onto it. That's how nuts my country is right now, politically. Doing business in that environment has got to be hell. My sympathies to them, this is nothing personal, but don't tell people out there with their hard-earned money that they're going to get something special because they're paying for uh, a transducer that comes from China and is available in other sets because it's not exclusive. And this would be on par with I should not get into the dynamic drivers that's in another boutique American brand because that's for another story. But that's, there's nothing special about the Supermoon. Skip it. The, the origin is three years behind. It's overpriced. Skip it. The hype too. If companies are going to release stuff like that, one after the other after the other, and send this one to that guy and two others to the other guy, and people are trying to piece together like a puzzle, what is the actual, who's the audience for this set and why should I pay for this set and not pay a hundred for the other one and why is the other one 400 more than that G give the customers more information that was a mess and I was a part of it so for my part in that I apologize to you excuse I didn't know the info it's my job to know so there's no excuse actually and I'm out Come on.